So it's uh, seven o'clock everyone and welcome to the first ever District 6400 District Assembly by Zoom. And the very first speaker in this, uh, this uh, set of sessions uh, is Tracy Sincock. She's from the Northfield Rotary Club and she's going to be governor in 2022, 2023. And she is the current and next year's uh, district secretary so Tracy, uh, thank you so much for participating and good luck, it's all yours. Okay, thanks. Everyone can hear me well? I can yeah. see most of you. It looks like the photos are on top of the PowerPoint. So can everyone see the PowerPoint okay? I see it just fine. You do, okay, good. It just might, might be my screen. So um, we're gonna talk about club secretary roles. And the very first thing that you should know is of our 52 clubs in our district, um, hands down guarantee that everyone has a little bit different twist on this role. So we're going to hopefully get some best practices uh, on the table here tonight. And for those of you, I'm sure that many of you have served in the secretary role previously, and maybe you're doing this for the second, third, or fourth or fifth time, or maybe you're brand new. So we'll get some feedback from all of you, and we'll just kind of go through this, um, and there'll be lots of time for questions at the end. So, okay, here we go. Um, my email, and I can email these slides to anyone that would like them. You can, if you know how to use the chat feature, you can send me your email or just email me privately. But if you want to take a picture of this screen, you'll have my email and um, I'm happy to share these with you. They're, they're, it's not lengthy. So um, we have the Rotary Opens Opportunities theme, which is Holger Knack, um, his theme for the year. So as I mentioned, one size does not fit all. Club secretary roles have really evolved over the past few years, especially when Rotary International has relaxed uh, the rules for uh, club operation. So um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But I, I would strongly suggest that if you have not done so yet, that you try to find whomever may have them, your club bylaws for the position description of the club secretary, because that will be the document that will really show you in your club what your job is going to be. And, you know, bylaws are meant to be changed. They're fluid documents. They get updated from time to time. So if in looking at those bylaws, perhaps it's time to even update uh, your own set of bylaws. Another good resource is to ask the person that's serving in that role now, if that's not you, um, perhaps they have been secretary for a while, or maybe they just did it for a year, but they will have knowledge of where they've put documents, how they've recorded minutes, and really the functions that, that that role plays in your club. So if you haven't done that either, take that person to a virtual lunch and or a virtual cup of coffee right now and get their input because they will um, help you really with volumes of information. Depending on your club bylaws, sometimes club secretaries are elected annually when the other officers of the club are selected by the members. But in some clubs, there are executive secretaries and they serve indefinitely, or sometimes they're even uh, provided a stipend. So even though Rotary is all volunteers, and some do um, have this as a position and uh, pay their secretaries. I'm not suggesting that, but it, it is something that is it is done. Even some districts have secretaries that are um, that are actually employees of the district to perform certain uh, uh, administrative functions. But at the end of the day, the key to all this is making sure that as years go on, that there's some success, succession planning, that there's not trying to recreate the wheel every year. Um, you know, we've, we need to keep documents um, so that there's a little bit of club history and you want to make sure that you work with the person before you and after you so that records can be easily passed on. The primary, probably the most important thing that the club secretary does, regardless of the roles that you play in your club, is to assist your club president and your board. Oftentimes you 
uh, secretaries will prepare and distribute meeting agendas. Sometimes club presidents like to do that themselves, but either way, uh, an agenda should be prepared in advance of a meeting. And whether that meeting is the club board, a committee meeting, um, a uh, special task force from your, your club, uh, really agendas are a good, really good way to keep the meeting flowing. Um, and we certainly can provide, there's probably 52 different kinds of ways of doing an agenda. So if someone needs some examples, I'm happy to provide those for you. But I don't, because there's so many different kinds of ways that people prepare agendas, I didn't want to take the time to um, even show you examples knowing that you may not even use those. You should notify uh, proposed members to the club. Sometimes that is done through a membership chair or directly through the club president, but a secretary can perhaps nudge those positions if it's not their role to do that. So proposed members should be brought to the club members in advance and, and notified of their proposals. Often secretaries conduct the election of officers. Uh, I know in my club, our Officers are elected in December and they don't start serving until the following July. But the secretary can uh, verify those, those elections, perhaps even conduct them. Again, refer back to your bylaws to see what the role is. Um, in the days when Rotary was more um, strict about meeting attendance and makeups, secretaries collected those and made sure that uh, members meeting attendance was recorded. As you are aware, Rotary International no longer require 100% um, attendance and gives clubs opportunities to be very flexible in how they um, uh, have their meeting, uh, members enjoy their meetings. So if your club is still one that does meetings and collects makeups, then by all means, that's your job, that's what you do. No wrong answers, no Rotary police, whatever the culture of your club is, is how you actually perform your job. So, and again, 52 different ways. Um, membership records from Rotary International are mailed to the club secretary. So if the club secretary's information is in uh, Rotary Club Central or DACDB, because that's what our district uses, then they will re actually receive the invoices from Rotary International for membership. Um, July 1st and January 1st, and it's based on the active membership um, on those dates. So shortly after July 1st and shortly after January 1st, whoever the club secretary is will receive the invoice and you should really, you know, scrutinize that invoice, make sure it's correct. I don't believe they allow um, changes any longer, but you could certainly contact Rotary if there's a, a major discrepancy. But again, they, they use the database that's in existence on those dates. So it's really important for either the secretary, the president, or the membership chair to make sure that their databases are correct. And there is a session on uh, Friday evening with Jim Carroll to talk about DACDB. Um, Rick um, mentioned this at uh, Pets the other day, and this is like, I'll just quickly paraphrase it because I thought it was a perfect understanding so Rotary International uses Rotary Club Central. That is their database for um, recording all of their members. Our district has chosen to use DACDB, which is a database, a district, uh, I don't know the acronyms, but it's a district database. Some clubs use DACDB, some clubs in our district use, um, um, oh shoot, I just, I lost it. Um, somebody help me, I forgot it. <laughs> Club Runner. Yeah, Club Runner, thank you. Um, they all can merge if, if, they all can merge with Rotary Club Central if that feature is selected in that database. So in some cases, there may have to be duplicate entries, but Rick, I thought you did a marvelous job of, I mean, I've always understood it, but I, the way that you presented it, I hope I did you proud, um, was, was actually excellent. So up on top, Rotary Club Central, then DACDB, and then, on the club level, either DACDB or Club Runner. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, no, it was good. 
Um, maintain meetings of minutes. This is a traditional job of a secretary, uh, a club secretary, um, and it's an important one because it really records actions in the history of uh, actions that have occurred within the club board or the club meeting. Um, min minutes might be taken um, at a club meeting. It might be taken at a board meeting, a committee meeting, or any combination of. Some, um, some clubs I've seen actually take meeting minutes of every single club meeting and post them on their website or mail them to their members so that if people didn't attend, they know exactly what occurred at the meeting. Some clubs only do their board meetings. Some clubs do a combination of. So be familiar with what your club does and then be prepared to um, help them out by taking minutes. In general, these are this is kind of my uh, municipality days. In general, minutes are supposed to reflect who's present, the date of the meeting, and what actions were taken. They're not intended to be verbal conversations, but if there were, I'm sorry, verbatim conversations, but if there were points that people wanted to make sure that were in the minutes, a point of view or um, a, a statement that someone asked to have put in a, in a meeting minutes, then you certainly would do that. But it, generally speaking, minutes don't say, John Doe said this, um, Jane Doe said this. It's motions, seconds, actions, and then capture the actual activity and the action that occurred. So that if you're going back decades, you'll know when dues were raised, when meetings dates were changed, when people were accepted into the club and that sort of thing. So it, it does act as a good history. And generally speaking, I will talk a little bit about retention. Oh, I guess we have a parade in my neighborhood. Um, generally speaking, you should really keep uh, documents. There are some documents you might want to keep forever, but some documents, you know, have a shelf life and a retention of, you know, anywhere between five and seven years. So, okay. And there'll be time for questions in a second. So here we are, the records retention. So um, grants, so we have district grants, we have Rotary International grants, and those records need to be kept for um, the re amount of time that is in your agreement with those organizations for so the district and Rotary International. They're often kept now in um, electronic files. So if your club uses a share file or Dropbox or some other electronic uh, saving locations, you should be aware of those and make sure that those kept updated and, and also make sure that at least one other person has the passwords so that if someone were to uh, leave the club that only had that information, then you're not scrambling to try to reset passwords and find things. Um, tax records uh, also um, for record retention. Um, Ed Schultz, who's our district treasurer, is on, and he can give you exactly what it is for um, for your tax filings that clubs do every year. I'm guessing it's probably seven years, but yep, he's saying, I think he's saying yes. So um, those need to be kept, and oftentimes that's the secretary's role to do that. Sometimes it's the treasurer, but um, oftentimes it's the secretary. Um, bylaw changes. Um, in my club, we put the bylaw changes on the bottom of the document so that you can see the history of any bylaw changes and the dates that those occurred. Um, your club history. If you don't have a club historian, oftentimes minutes and other documents are used to create the club history. And I know in the next few years, we're going to have a few more clubs that are turning 100. And it sure would be great to have some of that history um, that has occurred over the last 100 years. So um, oftentimes that's done in um, minutes. And then again, when was the action taken? Um, if a policy was changed or dues were changed or some other kind of activity that the club um, made to their operation, those are reflected in minutes and those should be kept so that future generations can find them. Okay. So um, thanks for serving as a club secretary. I'm gonna open this up here in just a second. If you guys have questions, if you can unmute and I will do my best to answer them. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. And if anybody wants to share best practices or they have a question about what their club's doing, and remember, there's no wrong answer, so um, go for it. So it looks like Janet just unmuted. Do you have a question? 
Oh, no, no, no. I've just, I just did it. Just in case okay. we get hi. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. So does anyone have a question? Questions. Um, okay. Before you, while you're still thinking of questions, um, I did want to mention that Rotary International has a learning center on their website. So if you go to rotary.org and you just type in learning center, or you can even from Google type in Rotary International uh, Learning Center, it'll take you right to those pages. And there is a four hour video of club secretary training. We're doing this in 30 minutes or less. So um, if you really want to get in depth and really want to study up, I'm sure there's some best practices in there, but that is also a resource for you. Um, presidents used to be given a, a paper training manual. Um, and it was very, it was, you know, 20, 25 pages, it's, it was pretty lengthy, but I think we've been able to condense the, the roles and with everyone doing such, um, having different um, means of performing this task, we just wanted to, uh, we didn't have to go through that. So, okay, open for questions. Tracy, can you uh, take off your PowerPoint so we can see everybody? Oh, sure. <laughs> Stop share. Oh, I think Rick, are you doing that? No, he's not there. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Noel's on. Hey, Noel, did you want to say anything? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, um, you know, a lot of Rotary Clubs, that they have the secretary for life type of thing going on. And, uh, you know, that can be a good thing, particularly if you have that uh, responsible person uh, that, that takes that, uh, that role seriously. Um, I always like, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know, uh, I actually graduated from Michigan State with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in history. <laughs> And uh, so I'm always attracted to little uh, history and stories like that. And uh, there's a story in Rotary uh, about the, uh, the first Rotary International Secretary, Ches Perry, uh, became, uh, he signed up to be the temporary secretary. And he ended up being secretary for 35 years. So, uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes when you sign up for these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's really interesting is his first year of being the secretary of Rotary International, he had 15,000 correspondences. And that was on a typewriter. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you just, it's amazing when you think of what we have to use today and uh, things going forward. Uh, also, the secretary position can be a rotating type of thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, so that you can train everybody in the different positions in the club and have a succession type of thing going on where you train people and move them up into leadership positions like being president and so forth. So uh, like you say, there's 52 different ways, uh, 50 ways to, you know, leave your secretary or something. Uh, so, uh, you know, just uh, engage it. And uh, we have people in our district that if you're having any questions or problems or uh, concerns, uh, you can always give Tracy a call. I call her, she answers her phone. It's great, thanks. Thank, thanks, Noel. Um, so if everybody could, the folks that have their photos up, can I see a show of hands of people who have previously served as secretary? Yeah. So a few, and then how many is how many are serving for the very first time? So it looks like one, two. Oh, Beth, you're an old hat at this, even though you haven't maybe done this. So a couple. So again, get with the person that has served in this role before, and they will, you know, explain to you what they did, have done, and how they've done it. Um, and it, you know, really, you know, they're your best. They're going to be your best resources. So you, you've all been writing down your questions. I'm ready, go for it. I think the secretary's role is so crucial because they provide a really good link for all the information that the club has because members ask so many questions. So if you have a good secretary and you've honed that skill, 
the president depends on the secretary and so do the other members of the board. I know our secretary, Anita, was, is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, her ability to pull all the documents and to prepare packages, it helps everybody else on the board. So you, to be very honest, I'm a lazy person. So even though I save everything, I will usually call the president or and say, okay, can you tell me? Because I just don't want to go click, 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 click on my, on my computer. But if you have a good secretary who remembers things, you know, your, your life becomes a lot easier. Uh, we are recording this video. Thanks, Aruna. I appreciate that. Uh, we are recording this video, and I know it's Rick's intent to um, have this available to anyone who wasn't able to make it tonight. And there was a, a question, can all the presentations be posted on the district website for reference? Uh, I'll make sure that PowerPoint's available. Rick has it. So that can be shared as well, along with the video recording for this, for this session. So what else? Burning questions. Um, if you don't have any questions, for those of you who have served in this role before, uh, oh, Noel's got his hand up. Yeah, uh, sorry, one other thought. Um, in our club, we have, uh, you know, assistant treasurer, then treasurer, and we have assistant secretary and, and secretary. And that helps to have backup and training and uh, continuity of activity and knowledge. So just a suggestion, if you have uh, enough people that you uh, want to put in different leadership uh, positions, it, it's a great way to go. That was going to be my next question. Does anyone want to share some practices like Noel that, that works in, in their organization? Aruna shared how it works there too. Ed, you want to share what Plymouth does? Because I know you kind of have a forever secretary. Yeah, we have an executive secretary, uh, Marie Morrill. Uh, but I, I would only add that uh, the secretary role is so important because you're the backbone of the history of the club. People look to minutes for what happened in the past. And as we approach 25, 50, 75, 100 years, it's so important. It really is. And we have such a turnover of members that uh, the retention of records is so important too. It really is. And, um, and passing it from one uh, secretary to another. Uh, you use, our, use the free share file. We have that. You can put it up and it's so easy to use and it's free. And you don't have to have anything in your basement or in your cupboards or under your wherever. Yeah, good point. When I became club secretary, I was handed two big banker's boxes full of files. And that was that was the retention. So yeah. we've scanned and um, gotten them online, but those days are gone. So anyone hey, else? Jim Jim Carley. Janet had a hand up. Go ahead. Aruna, go ahead. No, no Janet had a hand up. Hi, Jim. <clears throat> OK. There also is a way to store your files in DACDB under Club Files, secure and, and public, too, if you wish. Okay. <clears throat> no limit on what you store. Janet. I uh, had the misfortune this year, I'm the president, but I had the misfortune of uh, losing our secretary. He passed away in July. And so uh, I was the previous, I've been a secretary, I've been a lot of different things in our club. And so Deanna Gaffney was very kind to take on the minutes because I always, it took a long time to do the minutes and I split it up with her and I still do the attendance because in our club, we still have 12 people with perfect attendance, one going on 30 years right now. And it's important to those people that you keep attendance. Um, but one of the things that I do do, be, being the president, I always send out a newsletter. And with that, that is like the idea of sending it out and letting people know what happened in your club meeting as it did it. So it kind of goes right through the progression of everything we've done with a little bit of historical minutes. Because I, being an ex-teacher, you want to educate that club and make sure they understand 
the history from where we came and where we're going and it's important. So that's one of the things. But the second thing is I, I also, even though we have a public image, that too was a person that was new. So I do the Facebook at the same time with all that connection. Right now, I've been trying to promote our club to go to across the world. And I've gone to two uh, Australian Rotary Clubs when I've been over there for two Rotary International Conventions. So actually, I was one at five o'clock this morning and my former member, Chris Rerick, in the morning at five o'clock in the morning she won't come to mine which is noon which would be like two in the in the evening but i go to both of those and i really enjoy that and a couple other ones so i've tried to promote that with the club so it's a little bit more than just secretary but giving them information as best you can but also being the president at the same time just trying to get everybody involved whatever way you can so it's kind of like an integrated approach I wouldn't call it the Rotary Mom because there's lots of male secretaries as well. So the <laughs> Rotary Mom, the Rotary Dad, you're the you're the head cheerleader and you're the that's, the gatherer, the hunter and the gatherer to keep. Well, it. whatever it is, that's what it is. <laughs> so, I think we're getting near to the end of our session, um, so that I think Rick might have to jump off to let the other ones in for the next session. So membership training is next, followed by treasurer training. If you want to, if you still have your emails. Um, with the Zoom addresses, if you want to um, jump in on those. And then tomorrow night is grants, foundation training, and public re relations training. And then Friday evening is uh, DACDB training with our own Dr. Carolee. So um, feel free to call me anytime. Um, email me. Happy to help you if you're stuck on something or you're just not sure if this is how it's supposed to be done. Happy to help. Happy give you guidance. And you guys are all going to do a great job. And Rotary rocks, but you all know that. So you guys have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job, Creepy. Yeah, thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.